Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, we're gonna to be checking out Haunted Ridge Rocks in Missouri. That's where this huge plate come from, right out of the ground. Lots of these were found on the last event, and we're gonna be having another event soon, y'all. Stay tuned for more details. Matrix, let's check it out. Over 200 acres of crystal bearing earth, and you're gonna be able to come out, but during this main event coming up, we have a machine five times larger. It's going to be epic, you guys. You don't want to miss it. Be sure to check out the Facebook page event for all the information. Tell them, boy, you don't want to miss it. All right, y'all, Logan just pulled this piece out, and I said, you know what, let's check it out. And look, I just started to wash it, and I said, I better film this. check that out look at that that's worth a couple hundred bucks probably nice nice look they are going at it now yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> so cindy found that one y'all look it's nice and betroidal this one will need a soaking in the iron out, but will be absolutely perfect once cleaned up. It's got some beautiful lace agate up here. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. Look at that. I check out that laced agate right there, y'all. Great for display. Gorgeous. So, will you think, Gary, worth coming out here to Haunted Ridge? Yeah, very much so. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Look at this. And everybody's getting it. But check it out just huge that is the stuff right there that's some good stuff so what we did is i pulled a bunch of this material up using the big machine over there just last night and we trenched it all the way down here and i just set stuff on each side so there's plenty more where that came from. And look at this, pulling them out over here, left and right. Oh, it just pulled out a monster. Golly. I'm hoping this one will come later. Look at this burr. Oh, you just got it? Yeah. Oh no, are you kidding me? Dude, are you serious? It's an awesome piece. Care if I spray it? Yeah, go for it. Let's spray it, y'all. We gotta see this one cleaned up. So, just washed it up, y'all. Jeremy pulled this piece out, and look at that. Look at that. I mean, that is what you call the root beer quartz. And once it's dry, it'll even have more shine solid 500 dollar piece congratulations there and look he's got a bucket of them and he's still pulling there's another one there and they're gonna be all over this place all right y'all tyler found that one too look at this there it is the root beer quartz that everybody's going crazy over and i don't blame them i tell you what these root beer pieces are everywhere look at this got him a nice little setup here and check it out. Golly. Oh, Betroidal. There's so many varieties here, y'all. Even almost like a geode style there. Look at that, a super cool root beer knob cluster with some really cool agate on the bottom. Found by Caden. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that was that one? Yeah. Come on, was it? We didn't think this was anything. Nice. There you go. Thank you. They're both cool. Really? Yeah. 
Same. Both sides? Yeah, both sides. All right, so Dustin found this piece. I found this piece. And now he's got it all cleaned up. Got it cleaned up. Oh, what? Yeah. That is gorgeous. But there's more. Oh, Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that agate. All agate on the back side. Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of that. Wow. Here we are, Sean, and he's got a massive, and I mean massive, root beer quartz crystal cluster. It may be loose. We don't know yet. We're going to try to pry it out. Ready? Yep. Oh, man. Uh, that's in there. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I don't... Oh, that's a Matrix. Oh, man, Matrix. You about get ruined the whole piece, boy. Did you see that, y'all? Yeah. Well, let's get the machine and do it. That's normally not a uh, uh, what we do here, but we got to get this piece out. we got to see it, so let's get her done. Definitely loose. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, pulled it. We got it out of there, huh? Yeah. A little easier with that machine, huh, than a pick. Oh yeah. <laughs> but hey, he did the work. He did the work. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, that's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna dip down here. Oh man, look behind it. Another plate. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. Another plate right there behind it. That might be. No, maybe, maybe something. But there it is. Maybe we'll see if we can wash it a little bit. All right, y'all. Here we go. Sean's got it right here. It's a little bit washed off. Not completely cleaned. But you can see a beautiful piece. When that's cleaned up, all of that mud will be gone museum quality and uh yeah he's gonna stick it in his backyard no i'm no, just kidding you know, that's, that's, going <laughs> that's, that's going inside the house check it out so you can come out here y'all haunted ridge rocks and get crazy pieces so yeah it's gonna be an epic dig right here at haunted ridge rocks and not only look at this That is crystals all over the top with a betroidal form. Not only are there going to be crystals everywhere, I'm going to be flipping dirt all weekend, fresh dirt. Tell them, boy, to get on out here. This is the dig event of the year. Haunted Ridge Rocks right here in Missouri. You can fill up a bucket for 35 bucks. That's crazy because you can get 500 to to $1,000 in a bucket all day long here, y'all. You could probably leave with five or ten buckets if you would like to leave with that much easy there's going to be crystals left and right in here andrew here with a huge 200 pounder they got it on the back of the four-wheeler and the reason i really want to film because i believe when they take off they're just going to go straight up <laughs> i don't know we'll see <laughs> Nice. All right, we're starting to dig a new hole, but look at this already. Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that sparkle. That'll clean up and be beautiful, huh? Yeah. Everybody having a great time so far? Oh, yes. Yes. This is, this is amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, at, it's like a bet awesome. betroidal. And you guys that don't know what betroidal means, it's when a crystal or a cluster of crystals look like a cluster of grapes. And you can see that looks like a bunch of grape clusters. So that's why they're called betroidal. This has a little bit of betroidal as well, but that's a superb example of betroidal crystals. Superb, baby. <laughs> awesome, great work. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so excited. So you guys, Greg, the owner, has ATVs, just like you've seen, to transport you and your buckets all over the place so you don't have to do any hard work. All you got to do is come out here and collect the crystals. All right, y'all. So here are a few pieces from this location. 
And these are really just average. They're not the best I've seen or the worst. I just wanted to show you what's typical and what you can find out here on any given day and just load up your buckets. Look at that. It's not even sunny today, and you can still see there is some shine. Some pieces have a lot of luster. Some pieces have none, and everything in between. There's so much variety here. I mean, look at that. Some of this stuff is like finger type formations, smokies as you see here, botroidal, like this is almost a citrine, and really, look at this lace agate, that really is cool, I mean, pieces like this need to be cut and sliced and polished, or you could cut it down into chunks, throw it in a tumbler, and this lace agate will look epic, oh yeah, I mean, look at some of this stuff. What? If you're interested in this event, check out the Facebook page, The Crystal Collector, and under the events, you'll see all the information, everything you need to know, directions, and all that good stuff. We'll see you there. If you're interested in some of my finds, check out the eBay page. Just Google search Ultra Rocks eBay and it'll take you right to it.